and it was a reminder for myself and Abdul Aji said, Da'ifu, miskeen, zar, and jihad. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, in this holy month of Safar, Allah asking for us to enter into the cave, leave that which they worship and enter this cave of Rahmah so that Allah can dress us from these oceans of Rahmah and handle our affairs. The ocean of taslim and submission to dress upon the servant. And we talked about and if we meditate and contemplate how much Allah is, is giving of understandings and realities that play an immense role in the last days. The last days in which so much fitna and confusion that fills the earth, Allah is giving for us that these youths that are running from a group of people wishing to harm them, hate them and destroy their faith, that within a short period of time they entered the cave and Allah clarifies they're asking each other as they were awoken, how long have we been here? A day or less than a day and three hundred and Allah added nine years has traversed. Means they left one dimension in which people hate them, they were awoken into a group of people who loved them. Because as soon as they went to the marketplace people were astonished by their reality and argued what to build over their site, that it is of a s- immense miracle for the people. So one the miracle for the actual sleepers that they traversed through time and space and they moved in 309 years and for them it was but a moment, a day and they said, no less than a day. So Allah is, is, is giving and Prophet is expanding the immensity of this understanding of time travel and the movement through the world of light and these realities that Allah is free to open anything Allah wants to open and that they ran from a difficulty and Allah As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Dress them within a cave, awoken them and for them they had moved in time in the exact same location has moved 309 years and they came out to a community that loved them, that were astonished by them and thought of their presence as a miracle that here are time travelers. They were from this era and they had coins from that era and as a result they came as proof that people can move through space and time and preserved through space and time. And for Allah to give that in Holy Qur'an it becomes immensely relevant in last days when fitna of Dajjal. Because people were asking why Prophet drew our attention to reciting Surat Al-Kahf for the arrival of Dajjal and protection against the deceitful one and we see that the holy surah has all of these realities within it preparing the believers that time travel and the reality of light is something that can't be understood. 
And Allah gives to us an understanding that in this world of light the time is not the way we're calculating from the world of physicality. And alhamdulillah in other talks we've talked about light is a constant and anybody moving at the speed of light time stops for them, there is no time in that world of light that that time stops. And Prophet through holy hadith describe the ones whom they make a tafakkur and contemplation, it's as if 70 years of worshipness because all of these are now drawing our attention to time travel and the existence of a portal and a movement of energy and <coughs> interruption of an energy field means that anything from a paradise reality that enters into this dunya because we're talking from the heavenly that has the ability to move people through space and time. And that what's important is the one whom sits and understands tafakkur and opens for themselves in their space of meditation a Divinely portal opening a frequency of energy and we described before that if each cell carries 1.4 volts and the scientists came out and said there's 70 trillion cells that's about 90 trillion volts of energy. So immense, immense power in sun hands and Prophet was directing us the one whom makes their tafakkur means they, they understood the muraqabah, they left the physical plane and they seek inside their heart to enter into their hearts and they seek a way of inner contemplation and reflection. Once they begin to train in that reality they understand all the breathing and qudra and energizing all of the perfections who knows himself will know his Lord. Means who knows himself will know that which governs him. If he understands that which governs him from negativity and brings and diminishes and that which governs him from his positivity and empowers the positive and diminish the negative well then he has access to 90 trillion volts of energy from what these scientists and people are understanding. But the energy of the soul has no limit in its capacity and it's enough to bring about an energy that from paradise and opens a calf, opens a cave. And as a result of that cave a tajalli can come upon the servant and Allah says, we put a seal upon their ear. So then again that's why when you look at the Nashbandi practices of tafakkur, as soon as they sit and contemplate the most important focus is their ears. Don't let shaitan keep whispering to the ear, so there must be a seal upon the ear because Allah gave that they we put a seal upon their hearing and then they entered into their reality of the sleepers. So means had a tremendous importance that when we understood that, entered the cave, understood to put the salawats upon the hearing, to put that which is holy upon the hearing so that it seals the hearing from satanic influence and brings the heavenly tajallis and heavenly energies that empower the power of the soul. And as a result of that the freedom of the soul to begin its movement out of the physical plane. If the soul begins to come out from its physical confinement like a bird being released from its cage then that soul is a, is a body of energy connecting with the energy of the madad and the energies that we've been training and therefore enters now into a portal and a timeless reality. And that's what's important is that we leave the negativity 
And in an instant of tafakkur and contemplation they begin to contemplate and that tajalli for Ummat and Muhammad that they trained and they bring that tajalli they immediately enter into a timeless reality in which Prophet describing like 70 years of worship. That's why Einstein's theory of relativity and all these understandings that these scientists were coming that if you moved at the speed of light and came back to the earth as if 60 to 70 years had passed but for you could have been but a moment. And this was given by Prophet for us to understand the world of light and Qur'an is coming with all of its dalils and proofs because it's a, a book of truth with complete guidance. And that's the reality that Allah is giving for us Ashab al Kahf for us to understand that, that in these times of difficulty the state of isolation is most important, miracles happen when you isolate. If you plan on being amongst the crowd in a time of difficulty then you under the umbrella of that crowd and whatever difficulty coming upon them. Those who train themselves to isolate and take yourself away from the crowd because we don't know whom Allah is planning on punishing. So if you stand there while Allah is going to be throwing rocks upon people you're most likely going to get hit with a rock. So Allah Prophet is training for us, live a life in which you continuously retreat from crowds of people. Seek a path in which to build your cave with all these elements, this love, this ishq, these good manners that my cave is the, is the love of Prophet and I am the dog. And then my life is all about being tested and having good character. Good character until the day Allah raises me to speak so that I have a yaqeen and a certainty that I will not give up and my istiqam and my firmness upon my path. At that time the companions of the cave understood that this dog is sincere and he's not going to eat us. And he's going to be dressed by a tajalli from Allah to be of service and khidmat. And so much is transpiring within these few surahs of what Allah is giving us of a reality that enter into this world of light. They ran from hatred and blink of an eye half a day or less. The portal opened, they were in a dimension in same location. But 309 years of time had passed and now Allah brought them into a group of people who want to build a masjid over them. That's in this holy Qur'an, in this holy ayah kareem <coughs> Allah is even describing that anything holy, anything related to spiritual activity build a masjid over it. So when people come and say, why, why you, you people have masjids over graves and why you have masjids where you do these things? Because that's what Allah is giving in Surat Al-Kahf. That because of what they accomplished in the world of light in that station and that maqam and that cave, Allah gives the word, build over them a masjid. Means what they have accomplished, the tajalli, it stays there eternally. Because once you open the realm of light, that light is continuously in that environment and in that space. And then Allah says, build a masjid over means that you should keep your ibadah and your worshipness in these holy places. They are portals, they are not things that vanish and go away. <clears throat> these are portals to paradise. And that's the only right reason why Hizb shaitan is always fighting that why you going in, into these holy places and they want to destroy these portals on earth. They want to build satanic portals and destroy the portals of heavens where any 
ibadah and worship that was done by a holy person becomes a portal towards paradise. And if their souls are buried there it's an immense power. As soon as you enter into that maqam into the mausoleum or into the grave vicinity of where a holy and a pious person has passed away, their soul is emanating in that area and their soul is in paradise in the presence and the Muhammadan light of their reality is shining there. And that's what we talked the night before, that's what was the example Allah gave for us in Sitna Maryam In all of the Jewish temple the prayer of the Prophet Zakariya was not accepted and it was the holiest temple for all of Judaism. And for 99 years this prayer was not answered. So in, inside of their temple was a holy woman and holy because she's very special to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and in her portal what Allah called the niche she was being provided sustenance from paradise. The angels weren't going out into the field and bringing her vegetables. Her sustenance was coming from paradise from other dimensions into that portal. And as a result when Sayyidina Zakariya salam entered and his heart witness what he needed to witness, he realized in all of this temple my prayer was not asked, was not given but in this portal, in this dimension of what she has created and what Allah has dressed her with from her worshipness, immediately he made a prayer, Sayyidina Jibreel appeared to him and says, your prayer is accepted. Means his presence was already in that dimension and the prayer was completely accepted. So, so much of what Allah and Qur'an, Holy Qur'an is giving to us, don't be such a timed person in which you're all about your brain and physicality, you will have lost the entire miracle of Holy Qur'an. And Sayyidina Sulaiman comes and begins to teach for us in the next month in Surat Al-Najm, Namd, the ant about the power of these two powers. That when Sayyidina Sulaiman wanted something from another dimension he asked, I want the throne of Shiva to be brought to me. And the power of the ifrit and the jinn powers they said, we'll bring it, it will take some time, they were planning on stealing it. And the one whom Allah gave knowledge of the book means awliya, that's a completely different power. They said, by the time your eye blinks we will have replicated it and he presented it into the presence of Sayyidina Sulaiman So now you have the power of light and the speed of light. These people are trying to travel at a speed. When they bring a power of light and if the portal has a power of light they can move within a constant and they say that, oh we can go forward in time but there's no way to go back in time. But Allah is giving a dalil in Surat Al-Sulaiman, no there's a power much faster than the speed of light and that's the speed of thought. And the ones whom have knowledge of the book because now the book of Allah is Prophet all of those were imitated realities. The power of Sayyidina Sulaiman is like a drop in the power of the reality from Prophet He took from Prophet a ring and by the blessings of the ring he was given a key into that power. But the one who owns the power and doesn't need a ring is Sayyidina Muhammad And by virtue of that knowledge of the book, he said, by the time you think about it we have replicated because Prophets don't steal, we replicated the throne of Shiva of Bilgis So much so that she thought, it looks and appears like my throne. 
knowing that, no, I know you didn't steal my throne but you did a nice simulation. So means that this power and this reality of malakut, it's in the reality of, Ya Ayyuhal Ladina Amanu, Amanu, O you who have entered Islam, Alhamdulillah. But Allah is asking us again, O you who believe, believe that at every moment open the horizon of your belief. Because when we say, Allahu Akbar, the greatness of Allah can't be contained, can't be understood, can't be condensed to, no, it's not possible. Then you don't believe in Allahu Akbar. When we say Allahu Akbar means Allah is great beyond anything you can comprehend, Allah's greatness is not comprehendable. And in the world of light and malakut, immense throughout Qur'an is giving for us all of these expressions of light. That the one whom has knowledge of the book moving with the speed of thought, that speed of thought is more powerful to go back in time and forward in time. And only through their tafakkur and their contemplation they don't need a vehicle, they don't need a mechanical mechanism to artificially simulate and disrupt an energy field. That's the difference between the shaitan and Rahman. Shaitan has to make a mechanism <coughs> in which to disrupt an energy field. So you see on those movies and stargates and it's like a fabric that they're trying to disrupt the fabric and either bring something in or take somebody through. And Allah gives this to the believers and this is the system being taught by the muraqabah. That your only mechanism that you need to build is the connection with those whom are in the heavens and those whom live upon this earth and they are walking from their paradise reality. Means the living shaykh whom has that reality and dressed from those realities, they are one foot in paradise, one foot on this earth and they've been trained by their reality. When you learn the process of madad you're bringing a tremendous energy force and that's why the system is built that there must be a connection with the living shaykhs. Those who call themselves Qadri think that they can connect to Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jilani Qaddasallahu without a living guide is not, is not possible. The way of Prophet is ihtibah, that you follow sahabi, you follow tabi'een, you follow tabi tabi'een means you have the law of ihtibah and to follow. There must be a living shaykhs, 124,000 portals on this earth, not all of them are open for traversing. But the ones whom teaching they are definitely of that reality and as a result they're teaching how to connect, how to bring that energy. As soon as you learn how to make your madad and your connection, you're bringing their reality, their soul, their soul coming with their shaykh, with their shaykh, with their shaykh, with their shaykh all the way to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So you bring an immense Muhammadan doorway. And its vibration is so powerful and so strong. As soon as the servant sits in that presence, they are authorized by Allah to take the servant into a state of death. Means as soon as they begin to meditate with how they describe is put the veil upon your ear. So as soon as they learn they're gonna meditate, they're going to play their salawats. Because they need to deflect and the salawat is a protection from shaitan. It needs to protect the ears, they learn how to make the connection, the energy and the reflection of these souls begin to vibrate. 
and their vibration is very powerful from a heavenly vibration. Hunja al haq Zahiq al And say to the truth, when the truth comes the falsehood is perishing. Why? Because the falsehood within us that's blocking us from that dimension, if you sit by yourself your falsehood doesn't leave because Allah said, قُولْ 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 to the truth, say, oh to the truth. If you recognize yourself as a zalim, an abdukul ajisu da'ifu miskinu zalimu jahal, I am the zalim, how I'm going to call myself to relieve myself? Allah said, قُولْ Say to the truth means is a madad. All of this Surat al Kaf is about a madad. Go and enter, seal your ears. As soon as you enter into that madad, you're calling for that support. When you call for that support, that energy and that vibration is now appearing. As the vibration is coming, it's beginning to disrupt and change everything within the soul of that person. All the falsehood that they bring into that presence is running from the light that coming now in that meditation. But people don't have an eye to see. Had they had eyes to see, if you could make it like a graphic movie, as soon as they meditate immense lights are lighting up and illuminating the room. When those illuminations come all the falsehood within them run, everything false in the room runs. That's why they asked, make a cave and isolate. You can't do that in the middle of a mall but everybody should have a cave, a space in which is sacred and clean to them. And if they have and they don't then put a parda over your head and make the cave for yourself. And as soon as you make the madad that energy comes, the soul comes. The most powerful energy comes which is the soul of the believer. And as that vibration comes with an immense amount of energy it begins to shake every type of falsehood. As a result of shaking and destroying zahukan, the falsehood has no bearing to stand in the presence of that light, it has no power. It's like dust in the presence of wind, dust is not given any ability to withhold or withstand the wind. As a result of that energy it begins to shatter every type of falsehood and immediately build up based on its frequency and its light, the light and energy of that individual. And as soon as that soul is dressing the soul of that person, Prophet is giving to them now a sharat, you're now travelling in their light. And one hour if you sit in that light it will be as if 70 years has gone but for you it's just a second, what happened? You come out, oh it was maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes, if you did the whole hour or something, it's an hour. When Allah Prophet is describing, no, if you made madad with these shaykhs they are that reality that Prophet is describing, that one hour of madad with them will dress you 70 years of worship. 70 years you've been taken into their presence and dressed with that worshipness and with that light. Means immense realities. Surah Al-Kaf brings uh, about, Subhana man huwa alimul hakeem that these Divinely knowledges and wisdoms is the entry into the cave of the heart of Prophet in which is an immense timeless reality. And the one whom opens timelessness upon their soul, the knowledge of whatever was past can come to them and the knowledge of whatever has already been written what they call the future can come to them. And all of that exists within the plane of being present. All of this is only existing in the present because there is no past to worry about, there's no future to be scared about. When the person dies to every, every fear and apprehension 
Because these are two ropes that shaitan putting upon them to be scared of the future and regretful of the past. When they cut what shaitan did from the past, the past is the past, it's spilt milk, don't think about it, it's already finished. And there's nothing to fear of the future but to open that reality now so they live in meditation. Anything they need they go and isolate and begin to contemplate all that's important for them is that moment. In that moment all knowledges and energies that come to give a, a tranquility to the heart and that becomes guidance and lights and the nourishment of their soul. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam wa mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh.